Hello my peeps, Tracy here. I am uh, just about finished making my brother's birthday card and I thought it might help if anybody else needs to make a, a milestone birthday card that you might want to see what I did. And um, I am actually running late right now to get to said birthday dinner. Uh, my birthday was on Friday, my brother's birthday is next Sunday. He is up visiting from Florida and uh, we're having a joint birthday dinner tonight. And so I thought, oh, I have time to make the card early. Okay, it's taking me most of the day. But part of that was figuring out the math. So <clears throat> after dinner, tomorrow or the next day, I will post what I came up with for measurements and stuff. But the candles are three inches by three quarters of an inch. And I was trying to make it so I could use like card bases, regular size card bases. So um, I'll let you take a guess. Let's see if I can keep this in screen very long. Um, I happen to have... So most of this is new. Biggest Wishes is a current stamp set in the annual. These are the most awesome new mini alphabet dies you got to have. Nested Essentials. You'll see how, the, how awesome this is because they come in different sizes. And then I happen to have some of the leftover little candle embellishments, which are perfect for this card because this card... So I'm trying to get a grip on it so I don't drop it. This card celebrates my brother's... <laughs> oh, just a minute. We're still going. 60th birthday. That's right, people. I got, well, I don't have, right now I have, I have, uh, 54 <laughs> candles on this card. I try, you know what? It's so big, I can't, I can't get it all on the screen. <laughs> there we go. This is how big his card is. With the, and I, I love how it turned out. I've seen other people make them, and I never really paid any attention, so when I went to make it, I was just like, oh, yeah, I gotta figure this out on my own. Oh, anyways. What I have is basically a card base. This one I trimmed off, but on all the other card bases is a card base that I scored, instead of scoring at five and a half, I scored it at five and a quarter. And then that gave me a half an inch to score at the end. And they're just overlapped on the back. Like I've just folded them in half and overlapped them and glued them all together. Um, I'm on the last one of putting the candles on. And I'll just show you what I did there. One of my tips for you is you need lots of space because uh, because you have to keep spreading this out everywhere and if you don't have lots of space you'll run out of room now I had the I had the idea that you could like you know jaunty angles on the candles and put them in and it's actually much harder it's much more work to make a random pattern than it was just to line them up is my spacing even no it is not um, are they lined up for the most part I actually think they are and in the end, I think it worked out better. The other one was, it was just too much. And like I said, it would have taken, as long as this took, it would have taken even longer to try to do it that way. So this is all I did. I figured out that I needed 60 candles. So <clears throat> here's my, here's my high tech math that I figured out. So I was trying to figure it out. I could not figure out a way to get this birthday to not be the back of the card, to be like this front without putting a whole other piece on. Sorry, I guess I'm off screen. So this ends like this. So technically this is the back of the card, but I didn't want another piece here. So in the end, I like how it works because when it's stretched out, it looks pretty cool. And I said earlier, the nested essentials. So the nested essentials have four sizes, I think, of each one. So this one is just one size smaller than this, but birthday's a bigger word. And there's, th these things are awesome. I put little adhesive sheet behind them and boom, there they go. I didn't put candles on the back because that's more than likely where it's going to be held. And I figured they'd probably just get rubbed off anyways. But I think this works great. I didn't really leave myself any room to write, so I'll probably just write on the back of this piece. Um, but yeah, I, I wanted I wanted it to go up and down, up and down, up and down. So I figured out what it would be, um, and I didn't want to end on an odd number. And if I had ended on an odd number, oh, it might have worked. But then I would have had I would have had to make these candles five to a card instead of six to a card, like six to a chunk. And I thought the candles looked funny at an inch wide. They look good at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to keep working as we go. Um, and, and they, I, originally I had four inch candles, but they were just way too tall on the card and I wanted to have room for the flame. Um, so while I'm, while I'm showing you this, can anybody, oh yeah, you can't see it. Can anybody figure out what I used for the flame? There's probably a couple options. I know one of the retired options is what I was going to go with, but a very similar current item is actually where I got the flame from. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I wanted room for it. So they look too stubby at an inch. and I, So I would have had to do that. So there would have either been more space. I thought about background stamping and lining up, but everything made, just made it busy. The pure just line of candles was the effect I wanted. 
Um, I originally was using all one kind of DSP. I got the DSP, I don't know the names of anything, the Little Kit DSP from the new mini catalog. And I got it because as much as I'm not crazy about the front side with the little kids, I'm not sure that I'm, I'm going to try to make some cards with it, but I don't, I don't know. Although now that I have it and I've seen some of the faces on some of the kids, oh my goodness, there's some really cute images in there. And like, especially the ones that are angry and like grumpy looking. Um, they're, oh, they're so cute. The one that's, I don't know, one is dressed up as maybe a cranberry. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is. Um, and it's just so cute. So I just realized, oh, look at that. Hi. I just realized my thing was off. I was trying to keep it on. Um, hey, I even showered today, so, you know, got to make the most of that. Uh, anyways, so, so I started and I cut, um, I got five different colors. Um, I didn't want every card to be the same. That's why I picked six. Because if it was five, then every card would have had the same five colors. Or that's part of the reason I picked six, I should say. Um, and I wanted, if I picked five, sorry, I have six per card. The reason I picked five colors is so that they wouldn't be the same every card. I said that in my head, it made sense. And then I said it wrong. Um, so this way, each card takes like, I had five, well, I don't have any more. I had a couple extras, but um, so it starts with the five in a row. It actually, I started with blue. So these five colors, but each time it starts, it starts with another card because it's six, right? So I'm not always, not every card is exactly the same looking. So that certainly helped give it a little more variety. So I used the back of the little kid paper because it had really good, like bright patterns on it. So that's where I got, I got the stars and the blue. I had a yellow and a green out of there, but they were, um, they were meant to look distressed. And so in some places it was a, it was a nice yellow. And in some places it was, uh, it got too dark and it wasn't, it wasn't happy enough for a birthday. Uh, so I did, I, I scrapped it and then the green one was the same. It just kind of, the way they had distressed that it was getting darker in areas. Um, so I ended up using some of the retired paper. This, the, these two pieces came from, oh, the celebration set last year that, man, did I get use out of it? I kept it. I'm, I'm trying to use current product, but I kept that package of the retired DSP because, oh my goodness, um, I have used it for so many projects. We used it for a spring extravaganza. It works for so many things. And I had a lot of it, so I kind of kept it. So I used a couple pieces there. And then in the annual catalog, I think it was the last one, not the current one, the one before, um, one of the sort of party packs every now, they've started coming out with like a pack of like 48 different, uh, or like big pack of 48 with different patterns. It was a plaid one. And that's where I got the red plaid from because I was trying to get, um, I needed a red in here and I was trying to get the right color red because I was originally... <laughs> <clears throat> gonna add some of these stars and I so I wanted colors that I could I could use them so I wanted to make sure I had the right one um, so here's a couple things I'm going to recommend one I have this wet sponge here it's just one of our old sponges that snap it up used to sell for sponging this one just didn't happen to get cut into wedges so it's just in a little dish and it is wet because even though I am not touching the glue I am somehow constantly covered in glue um, and I can use it to get my little piece of paper towel, damp too if needed. Um, I got a little heavy handed on the glue on those last two. And I don't want to glue my card shut. Okay, so that's what I did. I, I lined them up. So every time I did it, I kind of dry fit them. It, I kind of had like routine spacing. Um, and then I had a couple, I had a couple of options. And what I decided to go with for the flame, which by the way, <laughs> is the wing from the Songbird Punch. The stamp set retired, but the punch is still current. But yeah, this little wing here is what I used. And in the old Bird Punch, the wing worked as well. There was the one that had the bird and the branch. It had the little wig on it. That one works as well. Um, I know I used for a much smaller one, I used something from the Whale Punch, the the drop of water, I think, that he blows out of his, his uh, air hole, I think is what it was. Anyways, I know there was one in the Whale Punch. Can't remember if that's current or not though. But anyways, so you'll find there's probably flower leaves that you can use. There's probably lots of different things. So, and then it needs its little wick. So I, I did think about it, about drawing the wick on these first, but they would have been sliding all over the place, but then I would have had to line them up to the, to the candle. So I just opted for doing it afterwards. And so all I'm doing is I'm going down the middle and I'm just drawing a line. And I mean, this is their candles. Wicks are never perfectly straight. Doesn't really matter. 
And I'm actually surprised because I made it through all 60 candles and I never once wrote on the DSP. Now I was just using the black stamp and write marker. I was using the old one, which has a little bit thinner tip on it. Um, the newer one is a little bit thicker, but if you don't have that, there's also like just fine you know, Sharpies or something. Um, I applaud some of the parents in my neighborhood because they are on round two of going around the block with a dog, two kids, one of which is small enough that it's in a sled because boy, did we get a bunch of snow this afternoon and they just keep ma making laps. Sorry, totally distracted. Okay, so that's how I got my last row of candles. So now when I when my brother opens it, he's going to open it and it's going to be 60 candles, birthday, and then there's room to write in the, well, actually there's a ton of room to write if I wanted to. Um, the one thing I, I haven't figured out yet because the way I measured it and then, so when I attached each piece, I made sure that I took this new piece and when I was putting it on here, I put it like just this side of the score line. I wanted to make sure that it would still fold nicely. Speaking of folding nicely, I was going to put little stars in each one of these candles or like put stars along the thing, but I realized that most of the stars would probably end up here. And so then my card would be really thick at the top. And so I, I vetoed that there's going to be no, I was going to put every second candle on dimensionals, but I thought, no, this is going to get way too thick by the time it's done. Cause it is already pretty thick. So anyways, yeah, I made it just inside so that it would bend. But the thing I noticed, I don't know if it'll show on there is each one I put on got a little bit farther over a little bit. And I'm not, I haven't figured out why. So the whole thing, and I can't like, I can't straighten it out. So in a, in a, in a way it's good. Cause when you look at it this way, you can see that there's like tab after tab and you can almost, you know, I wanted it lined up. I'm not sure why it isn't, but it does work. And I thought, Hey, this is a fun card. And if it helps anybody figure out how to do it, um, whoa. <laughs> I just love the way these candles look. I seriously love the way these candles turned out. Um, yeah. If anybody needs a milestone card, there's an idea for you. All right. Enjoy your day. I will post this um, and get you some, I'll, I'll write the measurements down on a piece of paper so that when I post it, there's some stuff to go with it and I'll maybe take a couple stills. But right now, I got to get to dinner. Thanks everybody. Take care.